<laughs> you know, one of the things I love about Christmas are all the traditions. The traditions of the trees and how they smell. <laughs> and of course, the presents that go under the tree that are given by people who care for each other, friends, family. Oh, and I've got to say, I'm a fan of the cookies. I'm sure that you're spending time with your family or friends, or maybe, maybe you're by yourself today. Either way, I want to remind you of a tradition that I think is so important. It's valuable for us to remember what Christmas is really all about. As much as trees are a cool thing, and boy, do they smell good. And being able to decorate and be able to spend time with your family and to exchange presents and even to receive a gift. Those are all great things, but the greatest tradition of all is to remember that this really symbolizes and signifies the fact that God did something amazing for us. He sent His Son Jesus to come to this world to not condemn it, but to save it. I want to use a familiar verse. Maybe you heard it as a child, or maybe you have heard it or seen it at football games, written the reference written on a card. Maybe you've, you've seen people quote it or say it as something that's important to them. But it's from John 3.16. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life, eternal life. You know, there's some points of that verse that I just want to make sure we understand. It tells us who God is and it tells us who we are. And it tells what we need. I think of the beginning of the verse that says, for God so loved, God loved. God loved us so much that He would, would reach out to us. You see, our failures and our sin, it breaks that relationship with Him. We're broken. But God knew that. And He knew that we needed someone to reach out to us. And because He loved us, He made us, He was going to step in and be the one. And because of that great love, He did. Next part of the verse says, For God so loved the world that He gave. See, God loved and then He gave. God gave. He gave an incredible sacrificial gift. Something that we could never do on our own, God did for us. And I think it's an incredible thought to think that God would do this for us in a way that would show that love like no one else could. And then the verses go on, and this is the part we see that God did His part in restoring that relationship. And then He gives it to us so that we can, and that we can actually have that relationship restored. And this is what he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes, that's our part in this. You know, to believe that God loved us, to believe that God gave his Son, and that Jesus not only was a baby, but he grew up became a man and died on a cross, God in the flesh. And He died on the cross so that our sin could be forgiven, that our relationship with Him could be restored. Oh, what a gift. It says that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It's actually receiving. So we believe and we receive. We receive that gift that He's given to us just like any gift that's given, it's not a gift if we reject it. And I would encourage you to consider this. Have you believed that Jesus has died for you? Maybe this is even the first time you've understood it clearly. But I take you back to the, the whole foundation of it. it. Was God loving us? He gave to us. We believe and then we receive. Imagine if maybe this were your first time to actually believe it in your heart that Jesus came and died for you, that God loved you that much, that He would do that, and that you receive Jesus into your life. And I can tell you this, from personal experience, it's life-changing. So 
we think of all the traditions and the great smells of the trees and the, the lights and the decorations, the presents, the cookies. But the greatest tradition is what this, this day is all about. God loving us, God giving to us. And then, <laughs> the best part, He allows us to believe and receive an incredible gift. Thank you, Jesus, for coming. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you.